Now, before we get to the response video, we need to talk about something. The YouTube comment section. Now, I don't usually respond to the people who watch my videos. 30 seconds, and they, they, they go in the comments, you're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. You're ugly. And then eight minutes after they finish the whole video, they're like, oh yeah, you're actually right. All right, good video, bro. I see all of your comments on each and single video that is being posted on this channel. So I reply to some, like in this case, I don't reply to. But in this situation, regarding the last video that I posted, that sketch and his situation, I feel like I need to talk about this. People are coming in the comments and saying, so what, he's gay? So wh why do you care so much? You're a grown-ass man who cares about him. Brother, calm down. First of all, I said I am okay with people being gay. If you wait a little but have a little bit of patience, you will get to that part. It was just shocking and traumatizing for me, and I'm sure for most people as well, for these videos being leaked and for everyone to see. And who is it to blame? It is both the Sketch and the Twitter people who posted this. Sketch from posting it on OnlyFans in the first place, and the Twitter people showing it to us where we didn't ask for it. And I said in the last video, be gay, do you, do whatever you want to do. I only have a problem with it when it's being influenced on other people, especially kids. When people make TikToks videos teaching, guys, learn more about gay. Maybe you're gay and you don't know about it. Like these clowns posting it on TikTok and Instagram telling kids, you don't know if you're gay or not. Try it. That is when I entered the chat and I absolutely shit on these people. Now again, I have no problem with Sketch being gay. It was just shocking to find out that this whole thing was true. I'm okay with him being gay. I just don't like to see it. My only problem with this situation is I didn't even mention it in the last video and people were talking it off their ass is OnlyFans. I don't like people who do OnlyFans. I just don't like them and that's my opinion. I don't care if you're gay, you're lesbian, you want to scissor with each other, you want to sword fight behind the scenes. Do you, but when you bring it online and you share it with people, you just lose respect. And I didn't say, oh, Sketch gay, Sketch is very, very, very gay. I didn't say that. I said that he just lost respect from a lot of people. And going forward, people are just going to have a different view on him. Now, if he changed, he's a changed person. Good for him. Okay, the, the, no one's saying anything like gay, gay. Never said that in the whole 10 minute video that I made. Okay, and another thing I want to point out from the Logan Paul video. This is out of context. This is another thing. Apparently, a lot of people care about the fact that I put my sleeve up and I was sitting and I was doing this and talking to the camera. They were saying, put your sleeves down and stop showing off your tattoos and your muscles. It's cringe. Have you ever heard of a habit when someone is looking inside the camera with a white wall behind them, they use their hands to talk about things? My habit of coping into this whole conversation is putting my sleeves up and just maybe tapping my shoulder every once in a while. Some people pick their nails, some people move their hands a lot, some people put their legs up and they start like slapping it. That's it! Ain't nobody flexing their muscles or tattoos. There is absolutely nothing wrong with putting your sleeves up and spanking your shoulders. It's a habit. It is not cringe. The only cringe person is you commenting, bro, stop showing off your muscles and tattoos. It is not weird and not a big deal. So take a chill pill and relax. Maybe go get a massage because you're taking things too seriously. But anyways, getting back to the video, if you're not familiar with Sketch's situation, just a day ago, someone released a 17-minute video exposing Sketch of doing gay OF two years ago. A lot of people woke up, opened up Twitter, and got traumatized of Sketch gagaing a black sword. It was truly traumatizing. Again, no one has a problem with him gagaing. It was just traumatizing to watch. Everyone thought it was AI or doppelganger, and then FaZe Banks came forward with the screenshots of the text between them verifying that it was actually sketch two years ago fast forward to this video he just released a response video responding to all the pictures on his sketchy past that was me it's okay though i will tell you what okay. two years ago i did some stuff i'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff you know i'm a changed person i did not have sexual relations with that man i'm just kidding i did possibly I don't know. Thank you to all my people that have been sticking up for me. I understand if you're bad, okay? I was dealing with some addiction problems. A couple of them. No excuse there. Uh, wait, I guess. Now, before he made this apology, FaZe Banks and the post that he made on Twitter, it showed that he left the premises of the FaZe house. He went to the airport. He didn't know what to do. And in the text, FaZe said that, come back. You're still our homie. Doesn't matter what you did in the past. That's the past. 
what we do what we work on is the present and the future shout out to the boys who are having his back bringing him back in and talking to him out of the situation because like i said in the last video this hits you mentally hard yeah that was me um i fucked up i won't do it again i'm just kidding um well i am dead serious about not doing it again that was a dark time rough rough time now props to him for coming out and apologizing to the people who traumatized but he doesn't really need to apologize for being gay that's his life and another props to him for having the courage to come out and talk about this to the whole internet at the beginning he wanted to leave he didn't know what to do shout out to the boys as well who you know motivated him they were like it's not that bad talk the truth it's all good just sit in front of the camera and explain how things were, how you are a changed person. And also the reason he made this video is probably because there was a lot of positive feedback from his fellow streamer, friends, whatever, people online. They were saying it's fine, like we still love him, W's, whatever. Even though the other half of the internet, they were like, gay, very, very gay. He, there were still people supporting him. Not everyone, 90 to 100% of the internet didn't just take a big fat shit on him. The only way this is going to affect him is loss of respect for having your OnlyFans in the past. Doesn't matter. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just like people are going to see you differently, especially after the videos that were leaked on the internet. It was his problem. He should have never, you know, released those videos or never seen the light of day. Sure, do this in your private time, in your off the camera do whatever you want but when it's on the internet and it gets leaked people naturally lose respect and i've been seeing a lot of comments as well in on the internet and also in my comment section people saying who cares if he's gay and who cares if he did only fans now i'm gonna say this is a, such a hypocritical thing if a girl streamer came out with a past like this and she did only fans and People will absolutely shit on her. Even if it's not a girl, if it's another streamer not sketch, people are gonna be like, oh yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, you fucking loser. And just shit talk on this person. Just because it's sketch doesn't make it okay. Okay? He also said in his response stream that plan A was the second if people find out about my past, I'm just going to quit internet and just leave. I'll be honest. Plan A was, and I will say candidly, was to probably eat a eat uh well probably to call it quits if this ever came out but some people saved me what's the plan after the plan after was not very good if i was alone and i was at my house i probably wouldn't be talking to you right now your most shameful thing you ever did in your life just comes up and just being exposed to millions of millions if not hundreds of millions of people obviously it's going to take a heavy hit on your mental stuff and in this video he said that he was being almost driven to unaliving himself and he thanked face banks for talking him talk, like being on his side and telling them to come telling him to come back home or quit i don't know one of the two i don't know what kim kardashian do if i get one more text about kim kardashian i swear that doesn't make anything better i'm just kidding but him comparing his situation to kim kardashian is actually hilarious he made a couple of jokes about it he made a couple of people laugh about it and honestly now like at the beginning when i first made the video it was truly shocking i was like fucking stood up from my chair i was like no fucking way this whole thing is real it is very hard to look past it not not him being a bad person just the whole image of him doing it i'm 100 sure many of these irl streamers or these i don't know staple ronaldo lacy macy uh, i shall speed there are some gays between them. There are people who do these things, but they keep it off the camera. And that's how it was supposed to be. It was an unfortunate event for someone like him. He seems like a very genuine guy, but he was suffering from addiction. Then the OF. The only thing in this situation is just some people are not going to be seeing him the same way. And that's just how things work. There's going to be less respect for him, but not everyone. There's he's still going to have his supporters going forward. Me personally, I cannot look at him the same way again. But again, that's just my point of view on things. And I'm actually very happy he didn't do anything stupid to himself. People actually talked to him and stopped him from doing so. This is a very huge thing, obviously. It's going to affect you mentally and your whole reputation going forward. But if I was in this situation, I would just move forward, not talk about it. And eventually people will just get over it because it's not like the fact that people have a problem with him being gay. Majority of people, it's just a misunderstanding that people are just fucking attacking each other in the comment sections. 
People are just traumatized. Yes, it is true. The internet is filled with trolls and they're going to be roasting him and just making fun of this whole situation and calling him gay. But majority of people, people with brains, they would they don't have a problem with the gay thing. They were just shocked, extremely shocked that someone like him, someone as innocent and wholesome as him used to do gay only fans and the video, bro. I, I don't think anyone should see the video. Honestly, if you haven't seen the video of him on his knees, never watch it. Move past it and you will be thankful for it. Overall, this whole thing blew up the internet. It's been absolutely shocking. People getting traumatized, jumping from their chairs after Facebook made that comment and then him coming out and making this stream. It's been a crazy night. Let's just leave it at that. And I hope he's doing better moving forward. Don't give a shit what people think. It's a past. We've all done things in the past, maybe not as big as his this is just an embarrassing thing from his past that went viral on the internet it's not like he went and he tickled children he didn't do anything illegal his aura just went down but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed the video leave it a like if you're new here and you enjoy these daily yapping sessions make sure to drop a sub take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one